A concussion is a violent jarring or shaking that results in a disturbance of brain function. The impact of concussions on an athlete's brain can cause memory loss, chronic headaches, and clinical depression. Concussions are a major issue in the NFL today, especially due to the fact that last year, linebacker Junior Seihau committed suicide by a gunshot wound through his chest. Seihau's suicide is a direct link to his frequent head injuries he obtained while playing in the National Football League. With Seihau's suicide grabbing national attention, President Obama went on record saying, I'm a big football fan, but I have to tell you, if I had a son, I'd have to think long and hard before I let him play football. There are many different opinions on what should be done about head injuries in football. Rule changes are continually being made and players are being fined for any head-to-head -head contact on a defenseless player. According to studies done by Sports Science's Chief Medical Advisor, Dr. Basil Aish, this 15 millisecond impact is equivalent to getting smashed in the head with a sledgehammer. In the last 10 years, the average number of days a concussed player is out has more than doubled, and even improved helmet technology is only able to reduce an 80G impact to 40Gs, still several times when an F-16 pilot experiences, and more than enough to cause a concussion or neck fracture. Now that we better understand this topic, what needs to be done in order to protect football players from concussions? Well, first, I'd have to say equipment changes, making just safer gear, making helmets, first of all, a lot more padded and not being able to affect your head as much. But also with people becoming bigger, faster, and stronger these days, r risk of injury is always going to be there. People are way stronger and faster than they were back in the day. So when you sign the waiver to sign up for football, that automatically put yourself in danger of potentially getting hurt so I don't think the game needs to be changed because it's gone on so long in the tradition and the more rules they make the less fun the game's gonna be or less serious it's gonna be and special teams taking out special teams that's a vital part of the football game and field position so I don't think that rule needs to be changed now that we have heard one player's opinion on what should be done about concussions in football Let's hear from someone with an opposing argument and believes change needs to happen in order for the game to last and to protect the players first. Over my years of playing football, I've had a few concussions myself. And as I know, it brings depression and suicidal thoughts. I think there needs to be more done to make the game safer. In order to do that, I believe they should limit the contact from special teams. And uh, I also agree with the tuck rule for the running back. It's safer, keeps their head from getting blown away. Um, so anything else that we could do in order to make football safe and keep it going and not damage people's lives, then I think that should be installed. The evidence is there that changes need to be made, and it needs to start within special teams. Every year, over 100,000 concussions occur in all levels of football. And 60% of these are from head-to-head -head collisions. In an impact lasting just 15 milliseconds, a player's head, on average, experiences almost 100 Gs of force. And collisions on special teams can result in forces of up to 190 Gs. You wonder how you could expose children to a game that we think is killing adults. You are entitled to your own opinion on what needs to be done in football to make the game safer or not. But player safety should be priority number one, even if that means a little change in the game we all love.